Hey everyone, quick video on the uh, Shimano E8000. So I bought an e-bike a little over a month ago. Absolutely love it. Only thing I didn't like about it was the handlebar setup. It's pretty crowded. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, anybody familiar with the Shimano E8000, the big clunky, clicky switches? Um, yeah, not a big fan. So what I did was I bought the E7000 switch. Here's the part number for the left. Part number for the right. Yes, they are different. No, they are not interchangeable. Yes, the left is very hard to find. I ended up purchasing it from a bike store. I'll put the link down below in Europe. Actually pretty good, reasonable prices. Came out to be about $100 a switch after conversion from euros to dollars and shipping and everything and yada yada. Um, fast delivery showed up in about a week and a half, which to me was pretty quick. So anyway, let's get on with the change out. Real quick, here's my bike. Bulls, Ecore, Evo, AM, DI2. Okay, took everything off pretty much except for the shifters. And I did not take those all the way off yet because I want to show you how to unplug them from the back. Left and right. We'll move on to that here in a okay. second. I wanted to unbox the switches, show you guys what they come with. There's a quick unboxing. Here's the right one. It's in a pink bag, which is cool. ESD sensitive, I guess. Here's the left one. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the left one. But um, let's go back to the bike. It's pretty simple. It comes with this tool. The Shimano comes with this little tool to install and remove. Um, I kind of find it unnecessary to use this. They probably put that in there just so if you break something, they can be like, oh, you didn't use the tool, so we're not gonna do the warranty. Put that aside anyway. So all I do is come down here, let's get a better view. Let's see if you can see this. It's just a little pull. As long as you get a nice little solid grip, you can pull them out. It's not necessarily proprietary to the hole that it goes in because you're gonna need to program it but if you plug them back into the original holes they pull out relatively easy and then you can just slide it off Whoop. so this big clunky thing is going to get replaced with this little tiny push button yay All right, now we got it all semi put back together. I don't tighten up my grips and stuff um, so I can adjust them later. And I don't run my brake levers extremely tight either. I like them to be able to move so when I crash, they don't break. All right, now we're over here in the shade. It's a lot cooler. I'm gonna show you guys how to connect the switches. It's super simple and it's easy if you um, Plug them into the same exact positions. There shouldn't be really much any program you need to use the E-Tube app for. So let's get on with it. So you come down, see this first spot is where I had my right hand. You just push it. Ah, you can hear the click. The second spot was where the main link to the motor was push it hear the click 
And then the far, oh, sorry about that camera, bad camera guy. I'm gonna have to fire him. Was the far left as you're sitting on the bike. Push, click. All right. Now, I know it looks like a big giant nest. We're gonna do some more video magic and uh, clean it all up here in a bit. But I wanted to show you, let's turn it on. coming on yes I still have the film on there no I'm not taking it off push the button boom perfect now I'm not gonna be able to hold the camera and pedal let's see if it switches one switch, gear up, gear down. Plug and play, no program needed. Here's the nice buttons. Replace that big clunky switch. Now we're gonna do some video magic and uh, come back to a nice cleaned up cockpit with cables. Okay, I'm back after the movie magic, video magic, whatever you wanna call it. I'm still ugly, so it didn't work very well. Here it anyway. is. I'm gonna probably do a little bit more cable, better cable management. I Man, this thing's got a lot of cables. It's got four cables going into this guy, coming out, going into the bike. Kind of, you know, not normal setup for a mountain bike, but as you can see, cleaned up the cockpit quite a bit. It's nice and clean. Got two little push buttons here. Two here for the mode. Um, got my dropper post where it belongs. The lever anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out. It's pretty simple. Plug and play. Order the E7000 switches. Make sure you order left and right. Mine came with the 700 millimeter cables. I think it's a tad long. However, I think you can easily get away with 300 on the left. 400, I'm sorry, 400 on the left. 300 on the right should be plenty. Um, I think that's originally the sizes that they come on. I did not measure them. Um, some websites let you select the length, 300, 400, or 700. Mine both came with 700. It's fine. Just a little bit better cable management is all you need. See you guys on the trail.